What's good YouTube? It's your boy LV Skinny and today I'm here to check out Ric Flair goes sneaker shopping with Complex. Ric Flair, y'all know who the fuck Ric Flair is. Woo! Ric Flair, the damn WWF, WWE motherfucking WCW everything superstar. Man, I fuck with Ric Flair, yeah. About to check out what he go cop when he go sneaker shopping. Yeah, y'all hear that music. I don't even know what instrument that is, for real, for real. Um, you know, we used to be a kid hearing that shit. Yeah. It's Joe from Complex We're in New York at Stadium Goods with 16-time world champion and WWE legend, the Nature Boy, Rick Flair. Uh, 16 times. He's the greatest athlete of all time. He's going to do some sneaker shopping today. going to see what he's feeling when he's not, and then uh, hopefully he's going to buy some sneakers. Most assuredly. Uh, woo! Let's go. Woo! woo, woo. <laughs> that nigga Rick Flair. He, he still got Wait, it. You cut a promo Nigga, in the like 80s about 85 years old, still Jordan got it. Your field. And then throughout the years, you've actually became close with him. Yes. How is it hanging out with him? Um, well, the stories I can tell you just. Flair is based in Charlotte, North Carolina, where Jordan is a majority owner of the Charlotte Hornets. He talking about Michael I'm Jordan right here. Can I tell you? Yeah. Can't tell on him. I can't tell on myself. <laughs> Until oh, Tiger Wood. Oh. Not with him. Um, well, the stories I can tell you just. Uh, what can I tell you? Yeah. Can't tell on him, I can't tell on myself. <laughs> Ric Flair, real nigga of the year. Another motherfucker would have got on. Oh yeah. Well me and my buddy Mike, we was we was sniffing there like like that's more likely what the fuck they was doing, but you think Ric Flair gonna tell down the world that? You think Ric Flair snitching? You think Ric Flair snitching on his niggas? Fuck <laughs> Until Tiger Woods came along, I think that Michael was the second most recognized athlete in the world behind Muhammad Ali and one of the greatest guys, obviously one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And this was the first one. The Jordan one, yeah. As a parent of four kids, I've spent more money on Air Jordans over the last mm. 30 years, 40 years than you'll ever imagine. So, really? Um, yeah, this was that, uh, his parents ran a store called Flight 23 uh -huh. in Charlotte, the first store they opened in he was always so cordial to my family. And now, what about That's like the sorry. python? You know, you said you talk about lizard a lot, alligators. What do you think, though, about a crazy python? I think it's beautiful. I think it, uh, you know, the Nike brand is what it is, and uh, they can pull off anything they want to. Absolutely. I, I should get a pair of those for myself. Yeah, this would look yeah, good. This is like a Ric Flair yeah, shit. That shit, and then that shit would look good on Rick because he liked that sparkly shit. He liked the, he liked flashy shit, but nah, them shoes was ugly. Hell no. The profile, I may get a better day. Sounds good. What are they? Six ninety five. No problem. Nothing. <laughs> Six ninety five. <laughs> Let me fuck up. Rick, one thing I want to talk about. Hip hop has embraced you. Pusha T released Hell a song yeah. a couple years ago, What Dreams Are Made Of, that sampled the classic Rolex wearing, kiss stealing, diamond ring wearing promo. You talking to the Rolex? What? Wearing. What? Diamond ring wearing. What? Kiss stealing. Woo! We are Woo! Doing. Limousine right. Yeah. Son of a gun. Yeah. I think a Rick Flair needs to be turned on WWE. Funny. When I did all that stuff, I usually hadn't been to bed. Just walked into the studio mm -hmm. uh, in Atlanta. Out all night the night before. Um, then it just rolled off. Rolled off. I've always liked jewelry. Yeah. Always liked nice clothes. And I, uh, I know that a lot of the hip hop artists like that kind of stuff, but that's the bling. Yeah. yeah. I just broke some stuff out. That's for the show today. You can see it. Look, you know, the Rolex bracelet, too. Yeah. Jubilee. Well, I know. And then, of course, having uh, Snoop, you know, call me the founder of Swag, you know, and, and then LeBron endorsing it, too, was pretty cool. So I've had a. He was one of those guys I love, too. I think he's, a, he's one of the creators of what we call Swag these days with the Rolexes and stretch limos and all the girls and all that stuff. He's one of the creators of swag, coming from LeBron James. Real you know, shit. Fantastic career. I just had fun doing it. And yeah. It's amazing to have caught on and uh, 
but I'm very flattered by it. You said you party with Jordan and you've partied with the rappers. Who are bigger partiers? Jordan or oh, no, the rappers? I was gonna say yeah, rappers? What? Yeah. No, Michael was conservative, I mean, you know, but he got to have a good time. I mean, yeah. if you want to have a good time with a uh, basketball player, you do well with Charles Barkley. That is the best mm -hmm. ever. Really? Oh, yeah. 13 long on ISTs. <laughs> yeah. We talked about Jordan. Let's walk hey, in the north. He didn't say he had 13 STDs. They're partners. Jordan or... Oh, no, the wrestlers. Yeah. You're kidding. Yeah. No, Michael was conservative, I mean, you know, but he, he got to have a good time. I mean, if you want to have a good time with a uh, basketball player... I guess him and Charles Barkley was our fucking Barkley. person. That is the best ever. Really? Oh, yeah. 13 long on ISTs. <laughs> yeah. We talked they about Jordan. Let's talk STDs. Yeah, let's talk about I, don't, I don't know what the fuck that means. Rick, you're a big Cavs fan. I am a LeBron James fan. Okay. Uh -huh. But I am a Cavs fan, yes. Okay. He's the greatest athlete. Me oh, too. Really? He could play tight end in football. He's the fastest in the NBA. He's the strongest. He's not the most pure shooter in the NBA. But he's the best basketball player of all time. So you've seen Jordan play. You still think LeBron is number one? Only because of the fact that he's bigger and stronger. Michael, yeah. six eight, 215. LeBron, six eight two sixty. These are all LeBron's. Do you like his shoes? And how do you think they compare to Jordan's? Well, I don't think anything's ever going to compare to Jordan's. I'm not taking anything away from Michael. Right. Oh, I love his stuff. But first of all, LeBron, LeBron James can do no wrong. Okay. So anything he has, I like. How do you feel about KD shoes and Kyrie and things like that? And where those legacies may end up compared to Jordan and LeBron? Regardless of how good they are, they're light years behind. Uh, yeah. It took, you know, it's 14 years. Uh, LeBron's been in the league, started with 17. I don't know about KD. KD going to probably catch up to him, but Kyrie, I don't that. know about that. Not based on the way it's going now. As good as LeBron is, his shoe is only going to sell them. Yeah, LeBron's shoes ain't about to sell. I mean, I'll sell Jordan. Every nigga want a pair of Jordans. Like, they could buy, damn, I say two, three pairs of Jordans is a damn car, but them niggas got damn nine pairs in their closet with no car still damn walking. Niggas' priorities is fucked up, I'm going to say that. But let me ask y'all this. Y'all think LeBron going past uh, Jordan as far as stats-wise, like, as far as best of all time? I know some motherfuckers like, hell no, my Jordan can't be better than, like, no, no one can be better than him, but come on, let's be realistic. And, you know, it, it's possible for someone to be better. And LeBron might be that person. But uh, let, me, let me continue on with the video. Um, there's an expensive case right across the store. Let's go talk about that. Okay. What kind of wool is that? Rick, we're at the expensive case in Stadium Goods. The M&Ms were the most expensive, but now $30,000, the Kobe pack, a uh, special edition Jordan 3 and the Jordan 8 for Kobe in Lakers colors. They say $30,000. And I, I do think the world of Kobe Bryant, he's a great, great player. I want to ask you, well, fuck how great the play is. You said, uh, I have shoes that are worth up. more than your house. What is the most expensive shoes you ever bought or the most you've ever spent shopping? Well, I'll tell you this. Bruce Friedman, Friedman Shoes in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. At one time, I had 46 pair of lizard and alligator shoes. Wow. Every color on the rainbow. Okay. What did that run you? 2,000, 2,200 pair. Okay. Has anything changed from the heyday of your shop? 2,000 on shoes. I mean, it's understandable like, when you balling like that, but... Custom style for Ric Flair. Make sure you guys check that out. Yeah. $1,500 alligator. Okay, I got a brown one, too. Okay. $900 Ferragamos, oh, $120,000, <laughs> $15,000, uh, $15,000, $6,000. You tell me. Rick. Ooh, Rich players. Oh, my Ooh. God. Wait a minute. <laughs> that nigga looking like $160,000. Like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? <laughs> I don't need any more tennis shoes. Let's go. <laughs> While we're on the topic of uh, expensive shoes, LeVar Ball and his family were just on the show. Yes. They have a shoe coming out that's $495. What do you think about Big LeVar ball and what he's doing for the family? First of all, I, I disagree with him and the, the way he um, pushes himself. Yeah, I think he pushes himself harder than he pushes his son. And, and Lonzo Ball Thanks. is a phenomenal young man. Mm -hmm. And Thanks. very smart and very articulate. 
But when his dad sits there, you notice the kid doesn't say anything. Mm -hmm. His dad just goes down, nah, nah, nah. And I, I think, I mean, if I... I feel like just right there, we're going to see something in the future, damn. Uh, LeVar Ball beefing with Ric Flair or something. He's going to come back on a on a news or something. <laughs> and Ric Flair, his old son, <laughs> he should do it. He's going to do something. He's going to come at Ric Flair or something. I, I don't know. I feel like that's was about to happen. And I knew I had to take that on and have him in the front row every night. Can you see him sitting next to Jack Nicholson? I don't know. It's a good place to end. Now is the part. You get the browser shell and see what shoes you want to pick out. Okay, cool. So I don't know, like, are they free? Are you, Big man, you ready? About the body? Okay, these are number one. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. Number two. Okay, that's a good one. Thanks, man. Absolutely. All hail to the king's shoes. Yeah, and flare wool. Yeah. All right. Gotta have a pair of these, man. Number three. How about that? I got you. Woo! Thank you, everybody. Woo! Chris Rock, Carl, this one, big boy. Woo! Shout out, Rick Flair. So your total is going to be fifteen thirty-five and fourteen cents. Hey, then you, you niggas got me fucked up. Why the fuck y'all going to bring me on complex just to buy some damn shoes, like? Yes, I'll go and tell y'all my preference. But if I want to buy some damn shoes, I want to run out to the local damn Foot Locker and buy some damn shoes. Like, what the fuck? This nigga got me fucked up. You niggas got me fucked up. Just came on the show to, to look nice, and now so, I end up spending 1500 see, Rick came through, Hell bought nah, some LeBron's man. for himself, bought some shoes for his fiance, bought some shoes for his daughters. Make sure you check out the book, The Second Nature, coming soon, and rickflareshop.com for everything the nature. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, man, thank you. Hey, that was dope. That was dope just to see Ric Flair of all people go sneaker shopping and buy some like some Jordans and shit. Like an old white man to go buy some some nigga shoes, some shoes that niggas want. And this nigga, he just Ric Flair a nigga at heart, I swear. Nigga say he ain't snitching on Michael Jordan. Like this nigga, I fuck with Ric Flair. He was smashing hella hoes back then. I already know it. Like shout out to that nigga Ric Flair. I ain't even gonna call him that nigga. Shout out to that man, Ric Flair, that motherfucking, that has put in that work and been one of my childhood heroes. Like, even though WWE faking all that shit, oh well. Like, this nigga was an entertaining ass man. Like, man, till next time, YouTube, I'm out.